All right, guys, well, so far this week's been a lot slower than I was hoping, but today is supposed to be the warmest day. I'm going to one of my best spots, so hopefully we can turn things around this morning. I'm gonna meet Richard, and we're gonna ride down together, and see what we can find. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. I'm running late, but you already know what time it is. All right, guys, we're out here. We're gonna start hiking, it's about uh, 69 degrees already it's only 10 in the morning or a little after 10 like 10 30 so should be just about perfect it's gonna get a little hot today up to about 82 according to the forecast which is ridiculous for the first week of february but we'll see how it goes hey guys we're out here walking on the edge of the swamp just watching the trees and on the ground hoping to see some black and white bands or anything Richard just spotted the first snake of the day, he's right there. The banded water snake, really nice looking snake. But we're gonna get some pictures of this guy and maybe I'll get a little close up. Here's a closer look at this banded water snake. Super nice looking snake. But we're just gonna take some quick pictures and let him go. See if we can find anything else. Guys, just walked up to this log. I was on the other side when I saw his head sticking out, but there's a timber rattlesnake under here. Let's see if I can get him out real quick with a stick. All right, guys, there we go. He was, when I first saw him, his head was sticking out of one of these holes right here, these tiny holes. And I went around the other side and he was in that other video. You can see the NC too. Freaking cool. Uh, that, that log where the other timber was is right up there. So he's almost certainly under that one right now. So we're already gonna be at two timbers for the day. Awesome. All right, guys, here's another look at this beautiful snake. We're just taking a couple pictures of him. Look at that thing. Absolutely stunning little rattlesnake. It's been a little bit nippy so far compared to most of the timbers we find. But... Oh, phone ringing. All right, here's one last look at this snake before we let him go. A nice top-down angle. Stunning snake. Couldn't ask for a better way to start the day. Keep hiking, see if we can find some more. Can you hold this open? All right, guys. We're walking around this area close to where that timber rattlesnake was. Hoping we can see, spot another one out here. We've seen a lot of them right in this little area now. It's crazy how many rattlesnakes there are right here. So we're just carefully walking around, watching the edges of these logs for more to potentially be coming out. Next snake of the day, I just flipped this little worm snake under bark at the base of one of these dead pine trees. Pretty cool, I never thought these guys would be here. But first one of the year, pretty cool species. Secret of little burrowing snake, obviously. So we're gonna take some quick pictures of this guy and let him go, see if we can find some more timbers or maybe even a king snake. Guys just spotted the next snake of the day outside this stump. Pretty sure it's a big cotton mouth from back here, but we're gonna get closer and see. Guys, here's another video of this cottonmouth. It's gonna be hard to get an unobstructed view because he's all in these vines, but yeah, pretty cool. Nice big one. I'm gonna take a couple in C2 photos and keep moving, see what else we can find. Here's what looks like another cottonmouth. Yeah, it's another cottonmouth. Is it this stump? Crazy how many snakes there are up here in these woods. We're gonna leave that guy right there and keep moving, see what else we can find. All right, here's number, <laughs> cottonmouth number three really close to the other two. This one's hanging out also outside of a stump hole. We're just gonna leave this guy here too and keep moving. Where the king snake's at, y'all? Come on. Since those cotton mouths, I think. But we're in a slightly different area now. We're gonna go back and hit that area again once it warms up a little more. See if anything new is up asking. There we go. That is a big timber rattlesnake. Holy crap. I need to find a stick fast on that thing. Oh my God, he must've came out of there. That is isn't. I'm scared to get any closer to this thing. He's as big around as my shoe is. 
Oh. Do you see this thing? <laughs> wow. So here's another look at this timber rattlesnake. He's coiled up right here. <laughs> there's the rattle. This thing is awesome. It's huge. It's a little bit cranky and it's beautiful. Came out of this stump hole right here and was crawling that direction when I spotted him. I can see just how big that thing is compared to this giant tree. That is a huge snake, one of the biggest timbers that I've ever seen for sure. We're just gonna take a couple more pictures of this guy and keep moving, see if we can find any more or maybe a king snake. Wow, guys, that's that that timber was just awesome. Really cool snake. Uh, glad we got to see it. He's still over there, and we're just moving along. Trying to disturb him as little as possible and uh see if we can find any more I, I just want to find a king snake at this point but i'll settle for more timbers the next snake of the day is right here in c2 he's at a kind of weird spot and he's running it's a rat snake right here in the stump so i'm gonna grab him <laughs> there you go eastern rat snake first one of the day pretty cool not a king snake but we're getting closer Takes pictures of this guy and let him go. I'm just gonna let this guy go back in his stump hole. Or to wherever he wants to go. I'm guessing he'll go back down in it. Yep. And keep hitting the stumps. Come on, King Snake. All right, guys, Richard just made the next big find. So there's a standing tree right here. I came over, he was peering down into it. That right there is an Eastern King Snake. My number one target for the day. Fantastic. We're gonna take some pictures of this guy in C2 and get about this king snake in C2 from another side where you can see more of him. He looks to be a pretty attractive snake. A little bit muddy, of course, but we're gonna get him out here in a second, get a better look at him. Here's another look at this king snake. First one I've seen since January 1st. He's got a couple water blisters. Definitely looks like he's been underground hibernating. But it looks pretty similar to the first one I found this year, um, despite how far away I am. A little bit on the thin side too, but it's pretty typical for snakes coming out of hibernation. So we're gonna take a couple of camera shots this guy and I'll get a little bit more video and we'll let him go. Look at this guy. He's really nice looking. He looks much better in the shade. Mm -hmm. His imperfections don't come out as much. Gorgeous snake. Guys, here's another look at this Eastern King snake before we let him go. Really happy we got to find one of these today on top of all the timbers and we're going to keep harping. It's probably, it's not even two o'clock yet, so we still got a decent amount of time here. So we're gonna let this guy go back in a stump and keep looking. I just found this little rat snake under the edge of the bark. I think this is the same one that me and Richard found back in November. He's in the same spot. And that just goes to show that, I mean, even if you're not finding the same snakes, just barely pulling the bark back enough to see behind like that, you can, uh, you can still find them. So we're gonna take some pictures of this guy yeah. next time. Crazy guys, Richard just spotted another rat snake. We're right here where that other one was, just another tree over. See if, he's not on the tree, he's actually right there. <laughs> Very cool. But we're probably gonna have to leave that guy right there because I don't know if we'll be able to get to him. Um, keep looking. Found something over here. Oh, way down there. There's an Eastern box turtle down there. Right there. Kind of a weird find for this time of year, but definitely cool to see. Two of them so far today. So, just a little idea of the habitat. That's a floodplain swamp. And we're up here just like right here where it lifts up a little bit out of the floodplain and it's dry enough that snakes can hibernate. Guys, here's timber rattlesnake number four for the day. That, that number three was the one that was under that log last time and he was still there, but we just quickly peeked under there and checked on him. This is the same one that we found in the 25 snakes of Christmas video. So this is a repeat too. He's right there if you can't see him. We're gonna get some still shots and leave him alone. Guys, here's a better look at timber rattlesnake number four for the day, pictured here in C2. This one is another really nice small adult presumably hibernating in that stump there. Come out the bass right here. He was in the same spot back in December. So pretty cool to see sight fidelity in these guys. We're gonna take a couple more quick shots and leave them here undisturbed. All right guys, next take of the day. 
another banded water snake down there. We're not going to mess with them too much, but documentation. Uh, I'll give it. I'll do a count up and a total of snakes at the end of the video. I don't. I've lost count right now. I'm going to have to go back to my snake of the day. <laughs> this gigantic ribbon snake with a meal in him. Look at that thing. Holy crap. We're going to grab him and get a look at him. All right, guys. We're back at my house. Uh, yesterday was freaking awesome, and I didn't do an outro. I'm skipping straight to this. But we saw, we ended up with four timber rattlesnakes, 18 different individual snakes, and an eastern king snake. And while I was on my way home around dusk, I got a text from my brother that he just found this in my driveway. <laughs> it's another little eastern king snake, a beautiful little juvenile. This thing has some beautiful chains. Just a fantastic little, little snake. He's a little bit skinny. I think he's dehydrated more than needing a meal. But today's much colder, so... We're going to take a couple of pictures of this guy. I might try to offer him a, a wild skink and see if he'll eat it, and then let him go. So this will most likely, I think there will be maybe one more day included in the week six video. What's up guys, I'm out here on my property. It's Saturday, the end of week six. Uh, just found a little slimy salamander. I'm gonna let him go real quick. But I figured it was a good time to start the video. <laughs> um, I'm actually out here creating some artificial cover sites. Um, just improving my property so this spring on the days that I can't go anywhere I can still hunt and hopefully have a good chance at seeing stuff because I will have between 50 and 100 pieces of cover out here ideally um, I'll show you some of it in a minute after I put a couple of these rocks um, oh spotted nice that's pretty cool Spotted salamander. But yeah, uh, like you, they're right up there. I'll show you closer in a second after I get a look at this guy real quick. But yeah, I'm just trying to improve my property so on days that I can't go far, um, you know, I can wake up in the morning and flip all this stuff and then maybe hit another spot uh, later in the day. I'll take a couple of quick still shots of this guy and I will be right back. All right, guys, so here's an idea of what we're looking at. Um, I picked up a bunch of this particle board from a construction site, and you might be thinking particle board doesn't last very long, and that's definitely true, but it will definitely last me for at least a season, maybe two, maybe even three, if I'm lucky. Um, you want to put it in places where it's warmer and you get a lot of sun so it doesn't hold moisture like the edge of this power line cut. It's going to get a lot of sun. Uh, because it's a board, even if it's a hot day, the stuff hopefully will stay under it, but will also dry out faster and won't rot as fast, etc. So the plan is to basically put all that out. I probably got 20 different boards from that alone, and I've already got a bunch of stuff out here. Like, there's a uh, washing machine top, and you know all the other tin you've seen in my videos. But the goal today is to just basically improve that a little bit for this coming spring. So I'm going to put out the rest of these pieces. This might be the last clip for week three, or week three, what am I? Week six. Um... Week seven is looking pretty good. Uh, not quite as warm as this week. Uh, this week was definitely the warmest and the best week so far. But next week should be pretty good. There'll be a lot of amphibian action, I think, and uh, hopefully plenty of snakes too. So I will see you guys then if I don't see anything else of note today. A whole bunch of anoles hanging out under it earlier this winter. And I'm just gonna check real quick and see if they're still there or if they've spread out. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least right here. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put this back down and let these guys go back to being cold. All right, guys, one more rock. This is a pretty cool double flip. Here's a four-toed salamander hanging out with a slimy salamander. Interesting double flip. They're both right here together. It's pretty cool. I figured I'd film it, but. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching week six. It was definitely the best week altogether so far. Uh, we had a lot of really nice days. I got out a lot. I didn't see that much until the, you know, the day pictured in this video um but it was it was a really good week it was nice to just be able to get out every day and enjoy being outside when it's warm and not having to wear six layers of clothing just to herp uh but i couldn't have been happier with how it turned out and i'm looking forward to hopefully many more weeks like this to come uh week seven i'll i don't think i'm gonna put up a forecast it's, it doesn't look too crazy it's just a lot of rain and mild temperatures um, but hopefully it will be conducive to a lot of amphibian activity and maybe a couple snakes too, so stay tuned.